Greetings YouTube, this is Ultracar here and welcome back to Pokemon Silver. Now I know that the last time with the champion was a bit of a shit show. So, I spent a long time preparing. I even evolved my Piloswine into a Mamoswine to kick these fucking Dragonite arses. I even... <laughs> This guy's got a big buff. Crobat's level 48 with Cross Poison instead of Confuse Ray. He's got a 144 speed. I hope that's enough to outspeed uh, Aerodactyl. Yeah, Vile Plume or uh, Gloom evolved into Vile Plume. I like found this random Leaf Stone. Can't remember where. It was a long time ago. Oh God. Something was on my hand. Lantern got a nice buff, too. Lugia got a big buff, too. Level 51. Same moves. Typhlosion is up to level 54. Same moves, too. They all... Pretty much all around have the same moves, except Mamoswine now has Ice Fang. Which I am hoping is good. It it may make the foe flinch or freeze. So either of those will be good. So um let's go to Will to pay him a visit. Hey buddy. Hello, Will. Let's do this, Will. I also got a Magnet for Lantern, which I'm hoping will be good against Gyarados and some of these other Pokemon. Because let's face it, uh, Lantern hasn't exactly been at her full potential this whole playthrough because of... Shit! That must wind a beast. Alright, uh, let's bring Buddy Lantern out here. Now, last time I... Last time I fought this guy, he refused to die. So let's see if this is... Uh, any different. Fuck yeah, it's different. Yeah. Alright, Jinx. Come on, X. Quit getting in the way. Alright. Jinx pretty much isn't a problem. It wasn't a problem level 43, it's not a problem level 52, in fact, it's even less of a problem. Now I got a choice here. Do I want to go to Lantern, Mamoswine, Crobat, or keep with Typhlosion? Actually, pretty much any of my... All my Pokemon have good moves. Except maybe... No, even Lugia. I'm going to keep a Typhlosion. Okay, let's see here. We'll see how Lugia fares. Yeah. 
Yeah. Alright, who's next again? Oh yeah, Koga. What was his first again? Yeah, it was it was Ariados. Ariados. Keep that version out. Oh, really? Alright, big boy. You ready to get out here? Fuck shit up. Yeah. That cry says it all. That you are ready. Die, you muck bitch. What? What? Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, that Venomala thing is pretty much like the least, the least useful thing on your team. Seriously, like, why do you even have that thing? Crobat. It's gonna be slower than mine. Ah, uh, fuck it. Ah, shit. Why, why did I, why did I know that you were going to do that? Probably not gonna make a difference. I mean, come on. Our Pokemon have become much more boss than the last time we saw them. But you subjected me to everything. Let's see. Let's recap what happened in the battle. Typhlosion took out... Uh, Ariados some Fortress first. Fortress used Protect. Then Mamoswine completely crushed your muck with an earthquake. And Lugia took out Venomoth with extra sensory. Crobat used double team, but Lugia pulled through and hit it with extra sensory, completely KOing it. Exactly which part of that was subjecting me to everything? Hey, Bruno. What's up, bruh?
Oh, uh oh. Crap. I forgot. I right, that. Hey, beep, dear, grass poison, dirt, dirt. Alright, Crobat, you gotta be scary like last time. Yes! Ooh, and a crit! Nice job. Alright. Wait a minute. This is actually a bit, um... Fuck it. Vaplume does not really have a shot in this whole thing. Let's give you a shot. You've been with me for quite a long time, buddy. Oh wait, this fuck used Sandstorm. You used sandstorm. Sandstorm rages. Vibes is hit. Mon Lee. Mr. Cobat. I managed to get a few heart scales and I decided to explore what moves these guys could learn. The only two that could learn things that were really important was Pilot Swine, which I didn't even know Ice Fang existed for Pilot Swine. I guess in hindsight, it was pretty obvious. And, uh, Ancient Power, which would help it evolve into the big bad bitch you see in my party right now. And Crobat, I decided to look into. Uh, and Crobat could learn Cross Poison, which I didn't really know. Come on, Crobat. Ah. Uh, You'll be that big bad bitch, right? You're still the big bad bitch. Come on, Crobat. Come on, Crobat. Yeah. Big bad bitch. Standing firm. Now you're falling down. Boom. Oh, I didn't even send. Yeah, I got some nice things. I grinded a lot, turns out. Alright, Karen starts out with Umbreon. Alright, let me explore what these guys can do. You could hit him with an Earthquake. Hmm. I don't know how well that would do, though. You could probably annoy it with Cross Poison. Do some nice wing attacks. You could stun spore it. And then maybe acid and mega drain. You could actually use signal beam. You no. Wait, which has the highest Oh. 
Hang on. Yeah, I do have that. Oh, no, don't trash. Jeez. I'm gonna need to remember that, though. I... I... Save. This is actually the quickest I got to Karen. Alrighty. I can send out that Umbreon and let's get into this shit. Nice. Ooh. Right. You like to do that like a fuck. This fucking, this Umbreon is starting to piss me off. It's making me use all my earthquakes, man. Nice. Oh, you know which one it is. So keep hitting that one. Because that's Pokemon logic, right? You know, that's Pokemon anime logic, and apparently that works here, too. How fast is this thing? Fuck it. I'll take the chance. Probably fucking up here. I know I was fucking up, but... Mamoswine, you got this. You got this. Come on! You don't got this. You're a big pile of failure. <sighs> no, I don't know if you know this Hound Doom, but. Me and my Pokemon, we've trained up a lot for this. So, could you, you know, just fucking. That's you, motherfucker. Oh. Well. Now I understand that you're a bitch, Kevin. Ooh. Wing attack with high attack and a sharp beak. You never stood the chance. You know what? Fucking finish this. You know what? Lantern could use some of this experience before Gyarados.
Oh god. That was a crit. Hi, Gengar. How do you feel about the new and improved Lugia? Lugia's faster, ain't he? Lugia hits harder, doesn't he? You're damn right he hits harder. Let's survive you, buddy. Take a trip down to the milk farm. Get that niceness. That's it, guys. I hope you guys are ready. Let's do this, guys. How much is that gonna do now? That was piddly. Take this. And you are out of here. Get out of here, Gyarados. Get done. Mano Swine, I think you remember Dragonite. Oh, clearly, Mano Swine remembers Dragonite. Holy shit! So, um. I just feel like things look in Lance. Yeah. They look in dire yet? Oof. Yeesh. It's so piddly. Compared to a lantern's a bad hassery. Oh, really? He has a full restore, which is a big move, kind of. He might crit or something. A crit would be nice. The nice double paralyze. I love it. Another Dragonite, Mama Swine, you are just going to work, my friend.
Oof. This one's faster. But something tells me it's not tankier. Yeah, I went down the same. Without even hitting Mammal Swine. Oh, damn. And... Bye-bye. Redactyl's last one. Now, keep in mind, last time I went through this, I didn't even get past that's his final Dragonite. This is a battle of pressure. Oh. Ow. Ooh. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, it is done. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Here we are. Nice. And Crobat. And then finally... League Champion. Oh man. Seeing these credits makes me remember the very first episode of this. It was so long ago.
There's Faulkner and Bugsy. There's uh, P2 and. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's Whitney. Her freaking mill tank. Which I have no trouble on. I actually had no trouble on it twice. Never used Will Out on me once. There's Morty. Oh, and there's Suicune. There's Chuck. And there's Jasmine. Hey, Steelix. There's Lance. And there's Claire. Hey, where's your Kingdra? And there's the new Team Rocket. <laughs> oh, and there's the Elite Four. Oh, Karen. Oh. The end. Or is it? I'm going to come back to this to finish the second half of this. But for right now, I'm going to end it right here. Goodbye, guys. For the second half of Pokemon Soul Silver.